Hello artists. Today in art class, we're gonna be making a little sculpture with paper. We're gonna make little tiny paper snails. Little, little snail that has a little shell that's all curled up behind them. So I'm gonna teach you how to do that. So we're working, first we're working with paper and lines and shapes, but and we're gonna be practicing our cutting as well. And then we're gonna be turning it into a sculpture. So it's actually a piece of art that you could walk around that's 3D. So we're doing a lot today. Um, I hope you're ready. So pretty soon, we're gonna be able to work outside in our gardens or plant things, or um, you'll be able to play outside more and more because it's getting warmer out. And one of the things that you sometimes see if you are working in a garden is sometimes you see little tiny snails. And we're gonna work on making a snail today and I'm gonna teach you how to do that. You're gonna need a sheet of paper and a pencil, and you'll need a pair of scissors, and you'll need something to color with. I have some markers. Um, if you don't have markers, you could use crayons or colored pencils. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the top of our snail up here at the top of our paper. So we're gonna draw a little circle, circular shape for the where the eye is gonna be. And then we're gonna draw two lines down. And this is the tentacle. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. And draw two lines down. And we're gonna connect that. And then we're gonna draw a line going all the way down to the edge of our the bottom of our paper. And a line on this side all the way down. And up here, we're gonna add a little circle to each for the eye. And then we're gonna give them a little cute smile. Then we're gonna color it in. So you're gonna need your markers. And we're only going to color down part ways. I'll show you. We're going to carefully color around the eyes. And then we'll fill the tentacles in. And we'll color part way down for the head. And then we're gonna use some other fun colors to color in um, and add some designs to the body. So you don't, you can um, color it in similar to what we did up there, but you don't have to. I'm gonna do some fun swirls or spirals. And I'm gonna overlap um, with other colors too. You could do stripes or polka dots. And you just want to make sure you fill in all of your spaces. Oops. Okay. And then we're going to cut them out. So you're going to cut right next to the line. And when you get up here near the head, 
you're going to be very careful and cut really slowly as you go around the eyes and the tentacles. I think I've heard it called a stalk too, the part that holds where the eye is. And then we're going to go back all the way down. And then you're going to need something kind of like some, maybe a marker or a pencil might work for this, but a glue stick might work better because it would be a little bit thicker. And we're going to take the end of our, see how I flipped, I flipped him over and I'm going to start down here and I'm just going to roll them. all the way around and when I get to the head I'm actually going to kind of bend the head and kind of crease it there like you would if you were folding a piece of paper. All right and then I'm going to pull this out and I have my snail shell and the head and it's all done. And you could make a few of these if you want a little family of snails or if you want little snail buddies, it's up to you. When you're all done with your snail, you're gonna have them all cut out and curled, you know, you'll have curled it around a marker or a glue stick and everything will have been colored in. I can't wait to see your snails. I hope some of you made little snail families. I can't wait to see them. I hope you had fun making your sculpture. See you next time.